Hi, and welcome to our presentation on artificial intelligence, robot programming with Cosmo. I'm Brittany Castaneda. And I'm Jaren Masonario, and this presentation has been supervised by Dr. Dae Hee Kim. This activity is part of CC Stanislaus's College of Science, Science Day, and has been supported by the RISE Research Program. So who are we? My name is Brittany, and I'm a senior at CSC Stanislaus. I'm a computer science major with a concentration in cybersecurity, and a fun fact about myself is that I've traveled to over 10 states and two countries. My name is Jaren Scenario, and I'm a high school senior. I plan on attending CSE Stanislaus in fall of 2022, and I plan on being a computer science major with a concentration in cybersecurity. And so now you may be asking, who is Cosmo? Cosmo is a robot created by the company Anki. It uses artificial intelligence in order to teach students how to code through fun games. It has its own personality and can recreate activities for fun. If Cosmo isn't available at your school, it can be purchased with the permission of a legal guardian at digitaldreamlabs.com. And so in this video, you can see all of Cosmo's capabilities. Uh, it uses anatomy and its use of AI programming. It has a screen or face that displays animated facial expressions, a camera that detects blocks and users' faces using object and facial recognition. It has wheels to allow it to move around on a clear surface and arms to push and lift blocks around. It also has a mic that listens to users through speech recognition. Overall, it has a lot of cool built-in applications, but you can also create your own programs through Scratch. And so, so now you may be wondering, how do I connect Cosmo? Well, you can first start by connecting and plugging in Cosmo's charger. Once you've done that, you can now place Cosmo on his charger and turn him on by, by pressing the button on its back. You, you'll want to raise and lower its lift in order to show the Wi-Fi information. Now you can find Cosmo in your device's Wi-Fi settings. And now while you're typing in that password, make sure to type in the password in all caps. Once you've completed this, uh, you are ready to launch the app that you download alongside Cosmo and you're ready to play. And so now we'll be showing you how to use Cosmo. So for demo number one, we're going to be using the built-in application. Using the Cosmo app, we're going to create a block program that's going to make Cosmo move or say something. This video on the left shows the usage of the Cosmo application. We're going to be using block programming to make a program. The first block we always start with is the green flag icon, which is going to eventually run our program. Here I am adding some blocks to make Cosmo do something. The first block was for him to move his head up. And the second one is a message app, which is going to make him say hello with an exclamation mark. After I finish typing in hello, I'm going to be finished with my block programming and I'm ready to click on the green flag to run the programming. And the video on the right is going to show Cosmo saying hello. So here we saw Cosmo lift his head up and say hello. And so this demo shows a built-in app called QuickTap. The premise of the game is to test your reflexes against Cosmo. Try to win in this one-on-one -on -one game. You can do so by tapping on your box before Cosmo taps on their box when the colors match. But be careful, tapping on the box when it's red or when the colors don't match can result in losing a point. You can now win by earning three points before Cosmo does. Overall, it's a fun game to train both yours and Cosmo's reflexes. So now for demo number three, we're going to be using the SDK program instead of the built-in application. SDK stands for Software Development Kit. And for our SDK, we're going to be using the command prompt and PyCharm, which is a Python IDE. The first thing we do is we're going to have to use our Cosmo application and turn it into the SDK mode. After we have enabled that, we're going to go into our command prompt and access the files that use Python in order to make Cosmo move or do something. For this case, we're going to do a basic programming, which is a hello world program. 
The bottom image shows that this program is going to make Cosmos say hello world in this simple Cosmos SDK example program. Here we see the Python language being used to make Cosmos say hello world. And in the next slide, we will see Cosmos say hello world. So here we see uh, Cosmo in front of our command prompt, which when run, we'll see some movement in the background running it, and then Cosmo will go ahead and say hello world. And now for demo number four, we're going to once again be using the SDK program using the PyCharm Python ID and the command prompt. For this program, we're going to be doing the count program, which here we see is being ran. And once we see this disconnected, it means Cosmo has done the program. Here we see this count program is going to make Cosmo count from one to five. And we once again see the Python language being used in PyCharm. This video is now going to show Cosmo once again uh, in front of our command prompt with the program being ran and then Cosmo is going to count from one to five. Our AI robot in cybersecurity research. Our cybersecurity research began with trying to extract information through packets using the Wi Fi pineapple. A Wi Fi pineapple is a hardware packet sniffer. The image on the right shows Wireshark, a computer, a drone, a phone, and our Wi Fi pineapple. The drone and the Wi Fi pineapple communicate with each other to intercept traffic. The drone and the phone, in this case, we're talking to each other by establishing a connection. Once we put all those tools together, we could then go to Wireshark, which is an application you can download to your computer and see the, cap the capturing of the packets and analyze the information. This research allows us to use different cybersecurity tools like the Cosmo, Drone, and Wi-Fi Pineapple to conduct AI and cybersecurity research. The image to the right below Wireshark show students using the Cosmo, which we showed in the K-12 2019 College of Science Fair. Our future goal will focus on exploring the Cosmo SDK, which can be used by an attacker to hack into the Cosmo. This ultimately leads us to our ultimate goal in cybersecurity research, which is to explore security holes. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow us on social media to find more about our upcoming events.